You guys hungry? Did you get breakfast? Or do you want some? Yeah. My name's Paul. What's yours? It's 9 a.m., and while most people are leaving home, Paul Whityoung is starting his daily deliveries for those who don't have a home. You're walking a little slow this morning, Art. For about an hour and a half each day, Paul makes the rounds serving homemade breakfast sandwiches, juice, fruit, and coffee on the popular street corners for the city's homeless. You want coffee, Tim? Yes, please. I want coffee, Paul, please. And he doesn't just deliver to street corners. In this abandoned building, a couple is squatting with their dog and her three-year-old nephew. Take care of yourself. Hello, thank you. Take See care you tomorrow, Paul. Okay, Cord. Love you, Paul. Love you, too, Angel. It's so for Paul, it's not about charity, it's about friendship. Okay, friend, you're welcome. I have a mother and daughter that I serve, and they told me, if you're going to miss more than two days in a row, Please come here in the afternoon and let us know because they worry about me. They think something bad has happened. So it's that kind of friendships that you develop that are so wonderful. Paul says police harassment is hurting those on the streets and Syracuse officials do not know how to properly go about helping the city's homeless. Stop labeling people homeless. But you have to look at a person, you know, as an individual. and. Look at what that person's needs are and listen. And it's not only breakfast that he gives out. Paul's trunk is filled with clothing, blankets, and other supplies for survival. I know you can use them. Yeah. I view my responsibilities as letting people know that I do have these resources, and all they have to do is ask. In a city where most people drive by panhandlers, why is this retired postal worker spending his savings on sausage and eggs. Because I want to. A simple reason that has a tremendous impact. In Syracuse, Ali Bauman, NCC News. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing.